Hi everyone, Troy Sage here, and this is Real Estate Talk. In these episodes of Real Estate Talk on our podcast, we will be interviewing lenders, realtors, and about anything and everything to do with real estate. So stay tuned for this episode. I wanted to ask you um, a couple of questions in regards to real estate. One of the questions uh, I have here is, what do you, what are your loves and your dislikes about the industry? Uh, for, um, I guess my biggest dislike is the uh, public's perception of what we do or what they think we do. Um, we work very, very, very hard, um, and the dedication is just ridiculous that we have to give to every transaction. Um, my love really is, uh, it's a passion. Um, I love working with my brother, uh, but I love working with people and um, helping them achieve the American dream, um, you know, making that purchase. And doing investment properties is the next step I think we're going to take. But uh, that's definitely, you know, uh, it's uh, summarizing it on the goods and the bads. <clears throat> yeah, and, and, you know, you're, we're always learning. The beautiful thing for this industry for me is it's always constantly changing. There's always something new to learn. There's some new marketing. Um, the industry truly hasn't changed in over 50 years, right? It's a relationship business, and that's what you do really well with people. Um, you build a strong bond and a relationship with, with them, and every top producer I've ever worked with in all the years I've done this, um, that is what they're great at as a relationship. So hats off to you on, on having that. Um, I, I think it comes inherently with your personality. Um, which we'll talk a little bit more about um, in one of the episodes or maybe continued. But um, just for an idea, there has been memes all over Facebook and all over the, the media. Um, and you and I laughed about this earlier. There's a picture of a guy with a cigar and a bunch of money. And then the next picture is him in his Lamborghini. And the next picture is him in this big mansion. And it says what the public thinks we do. Like we sit on our butt and we smoke cigars. And then it says what we really do. And it's a guy in a tank top basically digging ditches. And then he's <laughs> he's working all these hours. And then the last picture is him with like a check for like 500 bucks. And for some real estate agents, they'd be really better off working at Walmart because they, they don't engage in, in the uh, industry. They think it's really simple. So for our viewers and listeners, what, how many hours do you put in on average a week? At least 70 or 80. I mean, we're working 10, 11, 12 hour days. Um, and that's just to make something happen. You know, doesn't count the time you're putting into once you have something rolling with a client. So um, it's more than a full time job. Right. And, and what I tell um, when I'm teaching classes or I'm talking to my, our teams in both states or, you know, whoever I'm talking about in real estate, especially uh, people that call me that want to get their licenses, be prepared to work 10 hours a day, six days a week, and five to six hours a day on your alleged day off uh, to get your career launched. Right. Um, so many people think it's super easy to get your license and because you have a business card, you're now successful. It is you're starting a career and you're starting a business. So 70 to 80 hours a week. I would think that's probably pretty average for an agent that has three years or less experience. I would agree. This is Troy Sage with Real Estate Talk. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please reach out and email them or give me a call. I appreciate you watching the video. Please subscribe, and as always, make it a great day.